is in his purport that hearing and chanting is as potent as performing service with our body. The exact sentence, which is very striking, he says, Arjuna fought because the Supreme Personality of God had wanted him to. Therefore, he was not responsible for the outcome of the fighting. As far as devotional service is concerned, even hearing and chanting is as good as acting with our body, mind, and intelligence and senses. Actually, hearing and chanting are also activities of the senses. When the senses are utilized for one's sense gratification, they entangle one in karma. But when they are used for the satisfaction of the Lord, they establish one in bhakti. So he says hearing and chanting is as good as acting with our body, mind, and senses. And if we see all the great souls, they have started their devotional service by hearing, by true devotional service. We see Arjuna. He heard the Bhagavad Gita, and that's how he was inspired and transformed to fight in the proper consciousness of bhakti. Rukmini Devi, she never saw Krishna before. She only heard, before she fell in love with him, she only heard the glories. Simply by hearing about Krishna, she fell in love with Krishna. She had not even seen Krishna, even though Krishna was present on the planet at that time. And then she started praying within her heart. She started writing love letters just by hearing his glories. Similarly, if we hear the glories of Krishna, we can start writing him love letters while we are chanting. With whatever little love we have, we just offer it to him. Until Krishna kidnapped her. That's when the first time Rukmini Devi saw Krishna. Srila Prabhupada, he was very fond of hearing. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati noticed that in all this assembly, everyone is eager to go for the for the Vrajamandal Parikrama looking at places, but he likes to sit and hear. Narad Muni, he became Narad Muni because he heard from the Bhakti Vedantas and served them. And then when his mother left, he remembered what he heard attentively. Shukadev Goswami, it is said that he heard before he spoke Srimad Bhagavatam, he heard from so many different devotees. For each devotee, we can say the pastime, but he says he heard from uh, Lord Shiva when he was in the Shuka form. He heard from uh, Vyasadev later when he came back. He heard from Agastya Muni in the sixth canto. He says he, he is repeating this because he heard from Agastya Muni. He heard from Narada and Devala, these two sages as well. Uh, when he speaks about the Ajamila story, he explains how he heard from Narada and, and uh, other sages. So before he spoke Srimad Bhagavatam, Shukadev Goswami also heard. And therefore, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, hearing and chanting Srimad Bhagavatam, the glories of the Lord, is the best process for bhakti. That's what starts our bhakti. Unless we perform hearing and chanting, shravanam and kirtanam, we cannot perform other devotional service in proper consciousness. We cannot perform smaranam. What will we remember if we are not hearing and chanting? We cannot do padasevanam. If we perform our services at the temple or to our spiritual master, if we are not properly hearing and chanting, that service will eventually become a burden to us. We'll start feeling, oh, I have to go again, again for this. I, I wish, can someone else go? All these kind of things. We'll not be eager. If we are hearing and chanting, we'll be eager always to serve. Because we know in our consciousness, it's, it's being nourished. Yeah.